Hey guys, I'm Akash and welcome to Pavli. So the topic for today's video is when new Google form submission received, send documents from DocuSign. Now suppose guys, you have created a form using Google Forms and using that forms, you are getting the details from your leads, customers, students or any kind of users. Now you want that whenever a user submits the form, you want to send a document from DocuSign to that very same user for authentication or for signature purposes. Now the manual process of getting the form submission data and manually sending the document from DocuSign to that very same person can be very much repetitive and time consuming. So in this video, I came up with an awesome automation by which whenever we will receive a new form submission in Google Forms, automatically, instantly, a document, a template document from our DocuSign account will be automatically sent to that very same user who has submitted the form for a signature. Interesting, right? Now here you must be thinking how we are going to do this. So to make this happen, we will be using Pavli Connect, which is an automation and integration software. Now what is the actual step-by-step -step guide to set up this automation and how you can create this automation by yourself? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on the Pavli Connect dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you just have to go to your browser and search for P-A-B-B-L-Y, pavli.com slash connect. And after reaching to the landing page of Pavli Connect, by clicking on sign up free, you can create your free Pavli Connect account in just two minutes. Or if you already have an account, just click on sign in. So after reaching this dashboard, click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as Google Forms to DocuSign. Google Forms to DocuSign. Just a second. And click on create. Now we can see that our workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is trigger window, second one is action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. So the idea here is first, we have to de get the details or the data of Google Forms submission from Google Forms in Pavli Connect. Then after that, using Public Connect, we will send that very same data to DocuSign so that we can send the document to, for signature to the very same user who has submitted the form in Google Forms using Public Connect automatically. So let's begin with our process. So here in Trigger window, in Choose app, we have to select Google Forms from here. Just select it. And after that, in Trigger event, select New Response Received. After selecting our trigger event, Public Connect gave us a webhook URL. Now we will use this webhook URL to make the connection between Google Forms and Public Connect. So how we are going to do this? Just copy this webhook URL from here and follow the help text given below over here. So after copying our webhook URL, we'll go to the form which we have created using Google Form. So this is the form. So just for an example, this is a school trip registration form. So all the participated students can fill this form or interested student who want to go to the school trip can just fill this form. And after that, whenever a user submits this form, after setting up this automation, automatically a document from DocuSign will be sent as an email to their very particular email address. That will be a consent letter which has to be signatured by their parents. So guys, this is the form. So after creating your form, just go to the responses tab over here on the right side of questions. And here you can find an option named as spreadsheet. So this is a spreadsheet icon tiny little. Just hover on it, just click on it. And here just select create a new spreadsheet and click on create. So as you can see that a new Google Sheet opens in a new tab. Now this is the very same Google Sheet guys in which our Google form submission responses are stored. So from this spreadsheet, this Google Sheet, we will send the form submission data to Public Connect. After opening this Google Sheet, just go to Extensions, Add-ons and click on Get Add-ons. After clicking on Get Add-ons, we will see that we will reach to the Google Workspace Marketplace. And here in Search app, we have to search for Pavli Connect Webhooks. P-A-B-B-L-Y, Pavli Connect Webhooks. So as you can see, I have already installed Pavli Connect Webhooks, this add-on in my Google Sheets. So you also have to install this very same add-on into your own Google Sheet. And after installing it, just refresh your Google Sheet once. This is a very important step. 
and after refreshing your Google Sheet, just one second go to Extensions and you will find Pabli Connect Webhooks. This add-on is now installed in our Google Sheets. Just hover on it and click on Initial Setup. After clicking on Initial Setup, a dialog box appears in front of us. And in this dialog box, it is asking us three things. First one is selected sheet. So here in this Google sheet, I have only one sheet named as form response one. So by default, that specific sheet is selected over here. Then the second thing it asks us is the webhook URL. So here in webhook URL section, we have to paste the very same webhook URL, which we have copied from Pabli Connect. So just copy it from there and paste it over here. And at last, it is asking us for the trigger column. Now here you must be thinking, what is the trigger column? So trigger column is basically the last data entry column of a Google Sheet. Now suppose guys, just for an example in the background, you can see column E of the spreadsheet is last data entry column in which my data exists. So column E will be my trigger column. So I'll select column E. So according to your spreadsheet, according to your Google form, which you have created, E, F, G, H, I, any column can be your trigger column. Just make sure that it is the last data entry column of your Google Sheet. After selecting our trigger column, just click on submit. Now after that, once again, go to extensions, Pavli Connect Webhooks, and this time select send on event. By selecting send on event, we are telling this uh, automation, this add on this Google sheet that whenever a new row or data in a new row is added into this Google sheet, instantly send that very same newly added data to Pavli Connect. And in this way, we have successfully connected our Google Forms or should I say Google Sheets with Pavli Connect. Now, every time we receive a form submission in Google Forms, we receive the details or the data of that very same form submission in Pavli Connect as well. And we are going to do the same. We will go to the Google Forms and click on this preview button over here. And we are going to enter the details of a dummy user and submit this form. For example, dummy name, a dummy email address, and a dummy mobile number. So these are the details of a dummy user, a test user, a test form submission it is. Just click on submit. After clicking on submit, the form has been successfully submitted. And because we have connected this form with Pavli Connect using a webhook URL, we will see that the response or the data of this very same form submission will also be captured inside Pavli Connect. So let's get back to Pavli Connect. And yes, guys, here in Pavli Connect, we can see that we have received a response over here. And in this response, these are the details of that very same user whose details we have entered in the Google form while submitting it. So very same first name, same last name, same email, as well as the same mobile number, which means the step one of setting up this automation guys is now successfully completed. We have successfully connected our Google Forms account, a Google form with Pavli Connect using a webhook URL and received the Google form submission data in Pavli Connect as well. Now let's move to step two where we will send this very same user details to DocuSign so that we can send or share the document from our DocuSign account to this very same user as an email for the signature or for, uh, for making the signature for other purposes as well. Now to do so, we will just scroll down and come to our action window. And here in choose app, search for DocuSign over here. Select DocuSign. And after that in action event, select create signature request with template. Click on connect. Select add new connection. Now here we have to connect our DocuSign account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, just click on connect with DocuSign. And because guys, I have already logged into my DocuSign account in my browser, Pavli Connect detected this very same account and made the connection over here. Now after that, it is asking us some details like account. So I have only one account on this DocuSign account. So we have selected that very same account and it will auto detect the base URI of our DocuSign account. It's a, it has detected automatically. We don't have to make ch any changes over here. Then it is asking us for the template. And in the drop down, you can see all the templates of the document which you have created in your own DocuSign account can be seen over here. So out of which the template which I'm going to use in this video is named as consent letter. Just select this template of your choice. Then it is asking us for the email subject. So what is the subject line of the email which DocuSign is going to send to the users? So the subject line I want to be is a consent letter for school trip consent letter for school trip. I want the subject line of the email through which the document will be sent to be like this. Then it is asking us for the message. 
so guys here in message you can actually enter the email message or the body of the message which you are going to send i don't want to send any message so i'll just ignoring this field just for now but if you want you can add a message as well then it is asking us recipient name so what is the name of the person to whom we are sending this document for signature using email and docusign so guys we have received the name of the person who has submitted the form over here from google form submission in pavli connect so from this very same response we will map this very same name over here in this field of recipient name and the process of mapping guys is very simple simply click on this field and from the drop down below you can see all the responses you have received from google forms can be seen over here and out of all these responses select the response of first name give a space and after that select the response of last name over here and map it and we have successfully mapped the name of the person who has submitted the form in this recipient name field after that it is asking us recipient email so we have also received the recipient email from google forms so we will map it just click on this and from the drop down select the response of recipient email and map it then it is asking us for the recipient role and the help text below it says enter recipient role here you can pass comma separated value for multiple line items example signer cc etc so this role will be of a signer because the person to whom i am sending this document will is going to sign the or uh, the sign this document so i'll enter the role as signer so i am manually entering these details so these details are static and will be constant for every sending document and at last it is asking us details so by default it is selected created i want to send this document so i'll click on send so after entering all these details just click on save and send test request After clicking on save and send test request we can see that we have received a response over here and this response seems to be a very positive response to us this response shows that the document whose template we have selected here in docusign step is now automatically sent to this very same person who has submitted the form on this email address so let's check the email inbox of this email address let's go to the email inbox and here in inbox we can't see anything let's check all mails all mails and yes guys we can see a mail over here so just now we have received a email from docusign on the very same email address which we have entered while making the form submission so as we open this email this is the kind of email which we have received let's click on review document over here and guys we can see that the template email which we have created using docusign will be open in a new tab over here so as we can see it is loading let's wait for wait for a few seconds and yes guys now we can see that the document is now completely open so this is the very same template document which we have created in docusign and selected in public connect so after we can see that the automation which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine every time a user will submit the form automatically using this automation instantly a document will be sent for the signature from my docusign account and this is the very same template document so as you can see here we have an option named as sign just click on it and a user can sign it over here use saved so we have successfully signed it and by clicking on finish the user will finish this doc signing this document so guys we we can see that the automation which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine now after setting up this automation let's get back to pavli connect and understand in brief that what are the steps we followed while setting up this automation so first guys we have connected our google forms form of the form which we have created in google forms with pavli connect using a webhook url then after making the connection we have made a test form submission in google forms so that we can receive the details or the data of google form submission in pavli connect then after that we have basically assigned that very same data to docusign so that in the next step action step of docusign create signature request with template we can send a template document which we have already created in our docusign account to the very same user who has submitted the form for signature so not just these application guys you can basically connect plenty of other applications using pavli connect and guys one more important thing you will find the clone link of this very same workflow in the description box below by clicking on that link you can clone this very same workflow into your own pavli connect account and use this workflow for free if you need any kind of help or have any queries you can ask them on forum.pavli.com and you can check pavli connect pricing at this link So if you this video was helpful to you you can like this video don't forget to share it with others and to keep getting such content on automation and integration you can subscribe to Pavli thank you have a nice day